What's up everybody? My name is Ryan Jones and I am the host of the program Ryan with the Knee. Where we will have candid, honest, hilarious, and sometimes even serious conversations about the topics and happenings that are pertinent to young women and college students like myself. I will be opening up about my experiences as I navigate my way through adulthood with the help of my homegirls, my role models, and of course, God. Thank you so much for tuning in to laugh, learn, and kick it with your girl, Ryan with the knee. What's up, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Ryan with a Knee. I am your host, Ryan Jones, that's R-Y-A-N-E, and I'm so super excited that you have tuned in to kick it with your girl. Today, I am accompanied by my lovely little cousin. Her name is Jemiah. How about you introduce yourself, girl? Um, my name is Jemiah, as she said. I'm 16, and I go to my high school, and I dance for my school also, which I love. Yes, so she got the dancing jeans. I wasn't fortunate enough to get that. And when we're together, we're super goofy. We're always laughing. Yes. This is like my little sister. I don't play about her. Yeah. It's no games. I don't know how to fight, but I'll learn off the back of my Simple. little cousin because you already know. So today, though, we are going to be doing something different. We're going to be like... Um, reading off some scenarios and I'm going to be asking Jemiah what would she do in this situation and then giving my take on what I would do so I think it's going to be a pretty fun episode but before we get into that we do want to hop into our Queen's Corner which is like my favorite segment and so Jemiah do you have any advice for any young girls or girls your age watching this something that you just want them to know whether that be about high school or whatever like any advice for them so like some advice like I would give is you know stay focused mm -hmm. don't worry about other people or what they say just be you and that's all that's it that's all simple, <laughs> simple. so y'all so basically like I said I have about five scenarios they're all very interesting, but definitely something that some of them have had happened to me and that may have happened to other people because they're just common things that happen to people in high school and college. So the first one, I'm going to read it off. So, Jemiah, you and your friend group have been cool for about a year now. These are your homegirls. Y'all hang out on the weekends, go shopping, to the movies, go to parties, etc. This is your crew, right? While you love everyone in the group, you do have a best friend out of everyone. Let's call her Shay. That's a regular black girl name. <laughs> um, you both share secrets and tell each other everything. One day, Shay tells you that she has been talking to another one of y'all's friends, Leah. Let's call her Leah. Leah's boyfriend. So Shay has been talking to Leah's boyfriend. You are not as close to this other girl, but she is still your good friend who you care about and don't like that Shay is going behind her back. But Shay is still your best friend. What would you do? Man, that's crazy. This is some tea. <laughs> <laughs> See, I want to keep Leah's trust, but at the same time, I want to keep Shay's trust. I want to be like her, Shay, you know, don't be doing that to <laughs> Leah, you know what I'm saying? That she don't listen. I'll just probably have them, you know, just find out for themselves. So I you guess. would like mind your business? Yeah, just mind my business because I don't want to get between it. You okay. never want to get into the middle of, of some. Yeah. yeah, especially, I think it's, this is really hard because, yes, Shay is your best friend. That's your homegirl. Yeah. But, like, so is Leah, too. So, like, yeah, so you don't want to get between that. You just yeah. want to let it flow. So you'd be it. like, hey, Shay, you doing too much? Yeah, you doing too much. Because Shay is definitely out of pocket. If you are Shay, out please get your life together because you're out of pocket. <laughs> <laughs> and you need to set some boundaries. Stop yes, talking about his boyfriends. And what's her name? Leah's boyfriend needs to get himself together oh, as well. Oh, yeah, because he, he's doing it up. Because Leah does not deserve that. So I, I agree with you. I think let Shay know and be like, still mind your business. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because secrets are very important between mm -hmm. best friends. So, okay. Of course. Good answer for this one. Okay. So scenario number two. This one's a bit long to read. So, you have a friend named Brittany who is very sweet, mild-mannered, and can sometimes be a pushover. So, like, she don't really be standing up for herself. Mm -hmm. um, she has become really close to another girl recently named Ari, who has taken her on vacation with her, bought her nice gifts, and gives her a ride home from school every single day. Um, these two are really close, but lately you start to notice that Ari says really mean things towards Brittany and is very controlling. That's a red flag right there. You and Brittany have not hung out in a while, in a while, so you reach out to her, and she tells you tells you that Ari gets jealous when she hangs out with other people and throws it in her face of like all the good things she's done for her. So like 
Brittany's like, I want to hang out with so and so, and Ari's like, girl, after I I done for you, you gonna hang out with somebody else? Another red flag. <laughs> um, you ask her why she hasn't stood up for herself, and she says she's too scared. You don't want to overstep your boundaries as a friend, but you also don't like seeing your friend treated this way. What would you do? See, I would tell my friend Brittany, I'd be like you have to stand up for yourself. Mm -hmm. You can't just let anybody just sit here and talk to you any kind of way. Because I've been through that and you don't want anybody to tell you what you can or cannot do. Right. And it's like, at this point, if she ain't gonna sit for herself, I'm gonna go talk. <laughs> because you already talked to my friend. Not like, like that. that. Not so, like that at all. This literally happened to me in high school. I had a friend and she, literally this whole situation is true story. And so me, I'm like my cousin. I said something to the girl, and I was, I think this was my freshman year, and I never really had drama in high school, but this was a pretty dramatic yeah. time in my <laughs> life, but I reached out to the girl, I texted her, I was like, hey, I don't appreciate the way you treated my friend, this is my homegirl, I don't care about none of all that stuff you're talking about, and then I just say it like this, I was respectful, <laughs> I was this book wild, but um, I best was just like, you shouldn't be treating your friend that yeah, way. you shouldn't. And the girl was like, you need to mind your business. It's da 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 whoop de woo Girl, if it's my friend, it is it's, my business. It's, it's my, my business. business, my friend. If she doesn't have the qualities to stand up for herself, yeah. as a friend, I feel like that's my responsibility to let you know not to mess with her no more. Like, of course. And y'all can still be friends, but there definitely needs to be some ground rules set in this relationship. Of course. And so, like, for me, though, that situation kind of, like, exploded to something way more than it needed to be because the girl ended up getting her parents involved and like saying that oh, I was bullying her. Now look at me. Do I look like I bully anybody? I, I am the <laughs> nicest person ever. All I'm trying to do is stand up for my friend. Exactly. She was telling people that me and my friends were pushing her in the lockers. What is this? Teen High? What is the movies? Ain't nobody pushing nobody in a locker. Did you know that nearly 75% of high school seniors are accepted to their first college of choice, but only a little over half can afford to attend, according to a recent study. The outcomes prove the need for college-bound students to consider tuition costs alongside of program offerings. Simmons College of Kentucky offers five degree concentrations and in 2018 was named the most affordable HBCU in the nation. Simmons College of Kentucky, creating the next generation of thinkers. But yeah, I think situations like this often come up because you don't want to see anybody, anybody who is a good mm -hmm. friend, you don't want to see your friend treated poorly, whether that's with another friend, whether that's in their with in their relationship with their significant other as a good friend you have to be able to see those signs see those red yeah, flags of and course. take some action whether that's towards your friend or going straight up to the problem and confronting the source so yeah we we're on the same page, same same page. page. <laughs> we're on the same page okay scenario number three this one has to do with some rom romantic relationships so you and your boo thing alex it's called alex um, have officially been dating for about six months. Mm -hmm. Everything has been great. You all have good chemistry. They make you laugh. Their family likes you. It's all good. Sweet rainbows, candy canes, all that good stuff. <laughs> you are, however, you are still a baddie bee. You're still cute. You still post your flicks. You still look cute on the gram. And one day they see that you have DMs from other people and they get mad that like people are DMing you and like get jealous. And so of course you are annoyed at this, but you can understand why they'll feel some type of way. You assure them that you are you have no interest in these other people in your DMs, but a few days go by and Alex texts you asking to share their Instagram, your Instagram password with them. Hmm. And so you're stunned by this question, kind of <laughs> put off you try to put off guard by this question and in the midst of like you trying to figure out what you're gonna reply, they then double text you saying that they want you to share your location with them too. So that's the Instagram password and your location. And my logo. And your logo. So what would you do, Jemaya? Now, I'm, uh, this is a very serious question because mm. I got to see. 
see a baddie like me, of course I'm gonna get the DMs, but <laughs> uh, see, I will just be like, he don't trust me. It's like, you know that I'm here for you, but you asking for my Instagram password, which isn't needed because you know that I'm just for you. Yeah. And then you asking for my location? Yeah, no. no. I would have, I would have like talked to him, but then if he wouldn't understand, then I just have to cut it off. So you breaking up with him? Uh, probably not. I probably wouldn't break up with him, but you would. I mean, um, it just depends. I mean, but I probably would if it gets to like a point I can't take it no more. Okay, so my thing, I'm not gonna get to that point. <laughs> I'm not get to the point I can't take it no more because I feel like the Instagram password, like. I feel like that's very yeah. common with people our age um, sharing Instagram passwords and sharing accounts and checking DMs. Mm. Listen to me. Nobody is going through my phone, and I'm not going through nobody else's phone. No. Because what are you going to do? Like, you go, you looking for something, you're going to find something you don't want to see. And if you aren't going to leave the relationship, <laughs> then what's the point? Yeah. What true. is the point of doing that? True. So, first, I'm not going through nobody's phone, and nobody's going through my phone. Nobody's getting my passwords. Or my location. Why are you My mama I'm going? don't even have my location. So, uh -uh. what makes you think <laughs> you will have my location? Or my passwords. <laughs> no, sir. No, 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 no. <laughs> so, I think definitely there's a level of insecurity that's mm -hmm. obvious in this relationship. And I think if you really like this person, yes, you can work on it. But I think these are definite red flags that can yeah. appear in this relationship and I would not stay we would have to sorry boo yeah because I feel like it, I think I probably would because what if I say no I don't want to give you my location now you yelling at me arguing yeah. with me because mm. I don't want no mm -mm. no I ain't gonna be able to do it at this point I <laughs> cut it off cut it off <laughs> no sorry the most important thing about style it's about if what you're comfortable in because you want to be confident exactly. in it you know what i'm saying so if you're not comfortable wearing bright red neon green do not wear don't that don't do it babe you don't ain't got to who you trying to impress because i can tell <laughs> i'm gonna keep it and i'm like oh she looks very uncomfortable A recent article in Newsweek cited that black colleges produce 70% of all black dentists and doctors, 50% of black engineers and public school teachers, and while HBCUs only account for 3% of the nation's colleges, they account for about 20% of the degrees awarded to African Americans. Did you know that 40% of the African-American members of Congress, 50% of African-American lawyers, and 80% of African-American judges all graduated from an HBCU? Simmons College of Kentucky is just one of America's historically black colleges and universities that can help you pursue and realize your dreams. Simmons College of Kentucky, creating the next generation of thinkers. Like, back to this point, I don't think somebody should wait to get to where it's too bad, to where you have mm -hmm. to leave. If you see that red flag, we always see the red flags. We always see them. We know, we know the signs. Also, like, your first reaction is the correct reaction. Right. Stick with Stick your gut. She's not the fact. Stick, Stick with you already it. Know. Your mom has already told you. Mm -hmm. Your granny's already told you. Your friends have already told you. So listen to your gut. Listen to your in intuition. And if you see a sign that's like, uh-uh. This ain't Don't wait work. for it to get worse. Because uh -uh. <laughs> that's not. Don't <laughs> you're going to be it. stuck. Yeah, you're going to be stuck. <laughs> exactly. Yes. We, she, so Jemai's doing way better than I thought. <laughs> Because I thought she was going to be some little naive, little six year. Even though I barely have any years <laughs> over her. We're three, two or three years apart. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm so wise. But I'm so proud of her. Like, she's been so mature with these answers. <laughs> Period. Okay. Period. So, fourth scenario. Who? okay. You have a physics exam next Monday. Are you in physics? What's yeah. your science class right now? Chemistry. Okay. Let's change it to chemistry. You have a chemistry exam next Monday. You currently have an 89 in the class. And if you haven't been in school for a long time, an 89 is like a B yeah. right, right before an A, like on the cusp. 
So you have an 89 in the class and you really want to earn an A for the semester. The class was really challenging from the beginning, but you've been staying after school with your teacher, joined a study group, and watched YouTube videos that helped you understand the material. So you're putting in the work because you really want this grade. You're putting in the effort so that you can learn this material and do good yeah. in the class. Um, you are so proud of yourself, as you should be. Your best friend just texted you, though, and say that there's going to be a party this Friday, and mm -hmm. everybody's going to be there, including your crush, who you've been texting for a while. You really want to get to know, like you want to hang out with them. So you really want to go because you have not been out in a long time because you've been spending all your time studying for chemistry. <laughs> um, and you want to have some fun with your friends and your prospective new boo thing. Mm -hmm. um, but Friday is your only study day because you have work on Saturday and church and family dinner on Sunday. So you can't miss these events on, Friday, on Saturday and Sunday. So Friday is your only day to study. Mm -hmm. So what would you do in this situation? Mm -hmm. This is a tricky one. If I already been studying <laughs> after school, this one I'll give myself a break and just go to break. the party. Yeah, and then I see my crush. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm about to go. <laughs> I, I can't be at home <laughs> studying, watching everybody on Instagram. Hey, I'm at a party. <laughs> oh no! And then there's a girl on my crush. Oh yeah, no. I yeah got to go to the party. As someone who is very interested in very what's the word I'm trying focused in academics. I have to say the same. Yeah. If I've been putting on all this work, and 89 is just fine. <laughs> just fine. <laughs> because even when Young Casey was on um, a couple episodes ago, she was asking me, like, how do you balance making good grades while also having a life? And I was telling her that grades are important, yes, but they're not everything. You're mm -mm. in this time in your life. You don't get this time back. Make sure you make those experiences with your friends. Exactly. Hang out with them. Make memories. Do all the good stuff. Safely and responsibly, of Safely. course. Of course. But just making sure that you're not spending your all your time in them books. Mm -mm. Especially not for no chemistry, because what if I'm not a chemistry major in college? What am I doing with chemistry in my life? Exactly. <laughs> right. So I agree with you. I would definitely, if I've been studying this whole time, put in the work. I have an 89, and also this isn't the final exam. This isn't your midterm. This is just oh, a so test. Oh, most definitely. <laughs> <laughs> that makes that changes it. Like that ups to Annie. Like yes, I'm going to this party. Most definitely going. I'm to hanging out. I'm going to put on a cute outfit. and It's going to be up. Up is stuck. So yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So number five. Scenario number five. You are in a situationship with Jaden. Now situationships for all of my people who don't know what this word means it's kind of self-explanatory but you're not really official and like officially in a relationship with the person but like y'all talk which I am the spokesperson for the abolish the talking stage um, campaign let's abolish it it's a waste of our time let's waste. let's <laughs> let's stop talking because what does that even mean let's go on dates let's let's hang yes. out but we're in this talking stage and I'm supposed to be exclusively talking to you I can't talk to nobody else a lot, mm -hmm. but you're talking to other people. Oh, no, 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 it's not gonna work. So, yeah, that's the situation. Ship it's like a more it's complicated mm -hmm. word. So, yeah, so you're in a situation with Jaden. You all have been talking for about three months now, hang out every now and then, and text all the time, which I think is common for a lot of people. Y'all just yeah. text all the time. Y'all don't really see each other a lot, which I'll be texting, <laughs> but he has not officially asked you to be his girlfriend. One day, y'all are together, you see a text message from another girl with some flirtatious emojis. Hmm. Um, mm. You have not been talking to other people. That's your first, that's where you messed up the first time. Um, and yeah. this hurts your feeling to see that Jaden is talking to other people. You want to confront Jaden about the text and discuss the nature of your relationship, but you don't want to seem too crazy. So what would you do? I've been in many 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 situations <laughs> uh let's just say i have confronted because i'm just that type of person okay. i'll be like so who is this oh i ain't supposed i ain't supposed to be talking to people but you are or like people texting your phone then they be like you don't gotta worry about it da, da, da. nah I just leave okay. because you ain't ready to say i can't talk to nobody da, da, da. And you over talking to other females oh no <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have to go. That's that's your mindset. Take on it. So yes. 
Okay, okay, okay. See, me, I'm talking to other people anyway. Because if we're not together, like, yeah. I'm not talking to a billion people, but you're not the only person I'm talking to. And I always assume that you're never the only person <laughs> someone's talking to. Please assume that. And so, so I think in this situation, I would play it totally cool. I would not confront Jaden or whoever, whatever his name is. I wouldn't. This would just be my confirmation that, yeah. oh, so I'm going to just go and text whoever yeah. I want to text so with, the, plur- sure with the emojis. People. Right. And I don't think that's conniving or deceptive or whatever. I just you ain't made official yet. We're not official. You ain't said, do you want to be my girlfriend? If I ain't heard them words, oh, it's my yeah. whole, you know, ticket to Do whatever you want to exactly. do. I think we often like, especially young girls, we just put so much loyalty to these little boys. Don't. Baby girl. Don't Stop wasting it. your time. Don't waste your time. Do what you want to do. Most definitely. Have fun. Talk to whoever you want to talk to, as long as you're in an exclusive relationship. <laughs> and even then, I mean, no, <laughs> I'm not encouraging cheating on these little boys. But I'm just saying, it ain't that deep. It really isn't. It's not. And you know, marry him. That's what you're not going to do. <laughs> there's not going to be a ring, and there's not going to be a wedding. <laughs> I hate to break it to you. I know somebody's out there with their little boyfriend. Yeah. You and LaShawn, and y'all just so in love. Baby, just, just pack it up. <laughs> pack it up. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but just be wary. Did you know that the word alma mater comes from the Latin meaning nurturing mother? One of our primary objectives at Simmons College of Kentucky is to nurture late bloomers. So it doesn't matter if you struggle through high school just to graduate or even if you earn your GED. We don't look at a student's past. We look at their potential. Simmons College of Kentucky, creating the next generation of thinkers. scenario but like I want to know like is there anything like crazy that's happened to you where you was like I have no idea what to do like you just wish you had somebody to talk to about the Mm. situation let's see when like a guy talks to like you crazy or Mm. like yes like you know saying like disrespecting you in a way that you know they call you words what's your name yeah out my name and it's like they talk, they say, like, you're my girl, da, 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 but they call you names that you know. Oh, you know. okay, yeah, okay. You know? I get what you're saying. And it's like, I don't know what to do. Like, I like him, but it's like, I don't like how you're speaking to me. And you say that you like me, but guys ain't supposed to talk to a girl that, that they way. like that way, you know? I think that situation, I wouldn't be talking to him. I mean, True. that's when you cut it off. If you, especially if you've already vocalized this, maybe mm-hmm. he just don't know, which I would assume <laughs> he should. If, <laughs> if somebody around him told him right, he would know how to yeah. speak to somebody that he's interested in. Mm-hmm. So if you vocalize and say, hey, I'm not okay with the way you're speaking to me. I think this is very disrespectful. And if they don't take heed to that, that's, of course, your sign to yeah. bounce. Mm-hmm. But, of course, if they listen because they just did not know, then I guess that can work out. But definitely, yeah. ain't nobody that talk to me crazy. Of course. No. Mm-mm. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to figure it out. Ain't no, don't nobody talk crazy to exactly. me or my little cousin. Because that's a whole other situation. Simple. I don't, I don't want to have to fight nobody. I do not condone violence. <laughs> I don't do none of that. I've never had a fight in my entire life. But now I just feel like I'm going to have to because yeah. people going to be trying my little cousin. And we're going to have to pull up. <laughs> in the Jeep. In the car. <laughs> That's just not what I want to do. So everybody, let's just practice good relationship with people. Yeah. Treat people right. That goes for girls and guys. Just Especially like now teenagers think tox- being toxic oh. is very normal. Mm. Toxic is not cute. Not. <laughs> it's not cute. It's so annoying. It is a waste of your time. It is a waste of your energy, and it is a waste, waste of your youth. It really makes you tired. Yes. And you, you know you're toxic relationship. You may think it's cute because 
What's his name? Justin LaBoy. I have. What's his name? Is, is that his name? No, I don't even know. It is Justin LA Boy or something like that who posts all the crazy quotes about Instagram, like on Instagram, like. She say she love me. She say she don't like me, but she's still in my phone. We so talk. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay. So, just because he be posting all that crazy stuff, y'all think it's funny, does not mean that's how you need to. No, it's not. Behave in your relationship, especially for a female, and then you're staying in a toxic relationship. Don't do it, babe. It's dreamy. don't do it. From Jemaya and Ryan, don't do it, babe. It's not worth don't it. Do it. <laughs> it's not worth it. <laughs> so we. That was all that we had to talk about. Oh, that was a quick episode. We had some fun. I'm here with my girl. And so, before we get out of here, though, you know we have to get into my favorite segment, which is my You Go Girl segment. <laughs> and so, today we're highlighting Miss Tanae. Is that how you say it? I think yes. she's her name. And she has done her hair before. Yes, yeah, her beautiful, I've luscious locks. Here. And so you can find her on Instagram at Hair by Tanae. She does locks, feet and braids, knotless braids, all of yeah, it. all that stuff, all of it. She's only 16 years old, y'all. She attends Louisville High School, so mm -hmm. she's a junior. Or she's a junior. She's a junior too. So Maya knows her um, personally. She's a sweet girl. I reached out to her. So yes. <music> now we are so proud of you over here at Ride with an E, and you go, girl. <laughs> yes. Oh, while we're talking about her, I learned how to braid this week. <laughs> you go, girl, Ryan. <laughs> I learned how to braid, even though I'm a full-grown woman. I have never learned how to braid. I was never able to get my fingers to do it. But one night, before I did these knots on my head, I was in my room and I was like, I'm going to braid my hair. And if you know, I literally have like three inches of hair <laughs> because <laughs> I cut my hair. Mm -hmm. But like, I think the ancestors just came over me and like told my fingers what to do because I had a full corn cornrow just like down my head. And I was so proud of myself. Like, I learned how to braid. And so, yeah, that's our episode for today. Thank you so much, Jemiah, for no coming problem. in and having fun with me. Me and Jemiah are like always together. Yes, we take our pictures. Just, <laughs> it's my little cousin. It's my ride or die. Right. Thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in to Ryan with an E. I am your host, Ryan Jones. That's R Y A N E, and I am logging out. Peace out, y'all. Thank <laughs> you.